Hey guys, I know it's a little early and whatever for a video, but I'm trying to do more as much as I can. So, mainly I do videos about gaming or stuff like that, but today I really can be bothered. So, this is basically, it's kind of like a vlog video today. <sighs> mainly about self-confidence and also how to do the perfect nail. So, anyway, I'll get to the, I'll get to the nail stuff later. So, today has, today has basically been one hell of a ride for me today. I've been up, down, side, side. I've basically been a yo-yo. So, I know many people think their lives are bad or good or whatever, but it's basically, life is what you make it, guys. And if you make, if you make decisions, then obviously you've got to deal with the fallout. But me... I make a lot of decisions, so I have to deal with what I follow. Anyway, um, it's like my mum keeps saying. You have to believe in yourself before people can believe in you. Well, or something like that. She says something along them lines. But anyway, the main message I'm trying to give out to you today, guys, is self-confidence is a really big thing in life. Me, I've got very little. <laughs> but you don't, you don't have to have a lot of self-confidence in yourself just you just need to have some don't let people push you around don't let people tell you to be something you're not be yourself and you'll be all right i learned that the hard way five years ago at least i'm still learning actually so i'll be doing one of these uh three times three times a week or something i don't know uh so if you are subscribed to my channel, then you will receive a notification about these types of things. And if you haven't noticed, I am not filming from my usual location because I changed my room around. I will just show you guys a quick glimpse. Okay, so my desk isn't over there anymore. It's over here. And my unit's over there. This is basically my room. Okay. And most of you guys will probably think she changed the room because she didn't like it or she changed it to give her more confidence in herself, but I didn't. I just changed it. Guys, you can be whatever you want to be and do whatever you want to do. It's your life. Don't let anyone rule it. Apart from your parents until you're 18. Yeah. Don't disobey parents until you're at least 18. I learned that the hard way as well. Okay. So... If you guys basically have any, have literally have any questions about anything at all, just type, type it down below and I will seriously get back to you as soon as I can because I've got a heck of a busy schedule until, well, until Friday. I'll be doing, I, I will have a guest on my show tomorrow. Uh, um, I will not be revealing his name. He will have a code name, but he's one of the best little guy gamers I know. So, um, if you guys can comment down below what you think of the video tomorrow, I'm sure that will help his confidence as in himself. You see, it's like I was saying earlier, you need confidence in yourself to, it's like, what, what other people think, well, it matters and it doesn't. Criticism is good in life, but you don't want to have too much criticism that brings you down, like, okay, um, how can I put this? Uh, okay, so it's balance, yeah? It's like a scale. So if you have one end that's too heavy, then, the, as you know, the scale will tip. But if, if you take it off, then it'll go balanced. So if you, you need the right amount of positivity and, and negativity. I don't even know if negativity is a word. Look it up in the dictionary, guys. First one to get the answer, I will congratulate on, and I will give a shout out in my next video. So if you guys need any help with anything else and you just type it down below and i'll do a video about it like confidence in school or help with your parents or dealing with the loss of the loved one or whatever anything basically just type it down below because i'm here to help guys basically yeah i'll be doing one of these at least once or twice a week so this is my once a week one i'll probably do another one on saturday okay so if you guys didn't know, I will be turning 18 next month, which is, it's kind of a scary thing, but it's also a really cool thing at the same time. It's kind of like a, it's, it, it's kind of like a six, 16th. 16th birthday is kind of like a ride of passage into 
in, in your adulthood, you're leaving your childhood behind, but you're also having, but you're also, you know, still a bit of a kid. So, me turning 18 is kind of scary for me. I, I know. Um, I've always been a kid up here. So, yeah. Learning to deal with that's going to be, um, interesting. <laughs> People could say. So, that's basically all the advice I can give you guys today. Like, so like I said, um, put it down below in the comments if you want me to do anything else. So, on to my serious subjects. How to do the perfect nails. Now, as you can see guys, this is my crackle, crackle polish. And it is really good. Because it cracks in the most weird shapes. I had one that looked like a dinosaur eating a fish finger. I know. Truth guys, seriously. I've got the photo on my pad which I've lost in my room somewhere. Anyway, so... Woo! So my hands like... Invisible. Anyway, so <sighs> if I ever open this thing, you see, I tighten it real tight so my brothers and my cat can't knock it over and it'll spill. Hang on, guys. I've got something over here that'll help. Okay, that's not working. So, if plan A doesn't work, then you got to plan B. Plan B is my wardrobe. Basically, I have all my makeup stashed away in this little bit of my wardrobe. So, I guess get it out if I can because it's probably stuck again. And this is why you should always have plan B out before you go with plan A. Okay. That's why people call me interesting. Okay, no they don't. <laughs> that was a bit of a lie. Okay, guys. Since this let me down, because it's probably stuck at its hinge. Oh! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, guys. Whoever, who else thinks that's funny? Because that is not funny. Because that is just cruel. That's cruelty. On, like, a different level. That's why. I didn't wipe it last time I was using it. Anyway. I got this out now. I can't remember to put it away. So. If I can find it. Ah. There it is. Now, uh, there we go. Put that down there. Okay, so you are, so I'm going to use this one, but I'm also going to use this one as well. I really like my black nail polish, guys. Black nail polish is awesome. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Okay. So, I'm going to turn this this way. So you can see it properly. Now, I don't want too much on it, otherwise it'll ruin it. Okay, so what? basically what you're going to have to do, guys, I'm going to put this near to the camera, is you're going to find the perfect part of your nail, and then right at the top, and slowly bring it down like that. And then do it again. Hang on. You want to pr press it down. Now, with crackle and layer polish, you don't want to leave it out in the open for too long. Because it dries up and clumps up really easily when it's connected to air. And it kind of ends up looking kind of like that, all clumpy and horrible. Hang on. Okay, so you want to renew the dipping. Take as much as you can off it. And it's pressed down and just keep the pressure on but avoid now to avoid the cuticle i usually use glue on the outside of my finger because it just looks a lot better with glue on the outside of your finger guys so i'm only going to do two fingers with that and then switch to my ordinary black one And show you how better it is with the ordinary black one.
Now I don't usually do an undercoat when I'm when I'm not using my crackle polish, but I do have to say it looks a lot shinier than it usually does. Now if you do it wrong, you're gonna need you're gonna want some tissue near you. I don't have any tissue near me to, at the minute, but I do have this. It's kind of it looks a lot better than it looks it than it looks like it does, guys. This is why I use glue. You might, you guys may be wondering why she's doing her nails on a video when she was just doing, giving advice. Well, it basically links into what I was saying about being yourself. If you want to paint your nails black and you like it that way and other people don't, don't listen to them. Be what you, be yourself, do what you want to do, express yourself. Basically, what I try to do every day now. Be myself, express myself in my own unique way, as people say. Don't let anyone tell you what to do and what not to do. Unless they're your parents. That way you have an obligation. <laughs> But in matters like this, guys, if it's a school and, like, you're trying to fit in, my advice is to fit out. Be yourself. Be unique. Don't, like, don't be like everyone else, because everyone else is taken. Now, you might have heard that somewhere, because I took it from the best person line ever. Though I did say it first, so she kind of copied me. So, yeah. So... This is what my nails ended up looking like today, guys. So, these two here, they look pretty cool. And then there's these. They just look okay. Now, luckily, guys, I have nail polish remover at the, at, at the ready in case something like this happens. And I really hate it. There we go. Okay, that's permanently stuck like that. All right then, so, you see I don't have a lot left because it keeps spilling, because it is terrible. So, what then you're going to have to do guys, is you're going to have to get some tissue. Basically, you need to have everything at the ready when you're doing your nails, otherwise it all goes wrong. Okay. <laughs> Okay, guys. Now, most of you know how to use nail polish remover, but I'm going to show you anyway. This is how I use nail polish remover. Grab the finger. Slide it. Some people rub, but it kind of, like, damages your nail follicles if you rub. So, I slide. my next video of self-confidence guys i will be talking about schools and bullying and how to deal with it because i went through a lot of it when i was when i went when i was at school not much at college though i was kind of like a um in a group at college yeah a pretty cool bunch okay so yeah that's going to be in next week's video I will do advice. I will put the release of my advice video dates um, in one video I do per week. So then I'm not doing them all like too much and, I'm, and overdoing it. You see, you don't want to get it right in your follicle, otherwise you have to scratch out and it hurts. Okay. There, good. Put that back on. 
Now I use I use this kind of tissue paper on it because it <laughs> stops it leaking a little. <laughs> but it does doesn't have reek. Okay. Now I'm gonna not use the nut crack on nail polish, I'm just gonna use my black one. And start from the middle guys. You're gonna start from the middle. Make sure the brush spreads out but doesn't go anywhere near the outside of your follicle. Basically like that. So I'm only going to do one on this video because I am running out of time and I have to do a lot of things. So I'll do the rest of my nails when I, on my own free time. So like I said guys, if you want to do like half your nails black and have them bright pink or whatever else, it's your decision. It's your choice. You're in charge of what you do. So yeah. So tomorrow I will be joined, like I said, by a very little person. And just because this guy is little doesn't mean he isn't fast. Seriously. I got a breath. Okay. Now, um he's he's young, so he won't he won't like know a lot of things to do with certain games, but I will be doing a video with him and he will be amazing because he is. Okay? So I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out and remember, stay cool.